Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys this beautiful eye look created with Sydney Grace shadows. I just finished doing my favorite go-to bronzer. So if you're curious about that, I have already uploaded that this morning and then I wanted to go ahead and add in the look that I was wearing as well because Sydney Grace sent me over the new summer shades. These are so beautiful and I wanted to use them create something and do like a two-in-one video type of day so here we are I do want to go ahead and show you guys the swatches for these shades just so that you guys can see all of them but when I do the look I'm basically staying on this top row right here but if you guys want to see me using these tones down below just let me know I can always do another two-in-one video type of day and use those shades but let me go ahead and show you guys the swatches. First off we have Relax, Go For It, Forever Enough, Enjoy the Ride, Summer Heat, Seize the Day, Meadow, Take the Time, Keep It Fun, and Poolside. Poolside is just like one of my favorite ones in this collection. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this eye look. To start off, I'm using Relax on a Sonia G Blender Pro. I am starting off on the outer corner, placing it down first so the majority of the pigment goes there, and then I'm working it upwards to kind of create a little bit of a smoky effect, and then bringing it into the crease and transition area. I layered this up about two times just so that I could get the depth that I wanted. Then I'm going to add even more depth and I'm going to go in with the shade Enjoy the Ride. I'm using the same exact brush and I'm applying it on the very outer corner. I'm really just kind of stamping it there first and then I am smoking out that outer corner even more because I really want it to get that type of smoky effect lay down first before I add the color to the lid. And these just blend out so effortlessly. Now on a Sonia G Builder 3, that always cracks me up because it rhymes. <laughs> Easily amused, you guys. I am taking the shade Forever Enough and I am packing that on the center of the lid, going up to the crease and then lightly tapping over the last shade that we laid down. Now for the inner corner, this shade is absolutely stunning. I'm taking this on a MAC 242. It is the shade Go For It. And I'm gonna place this on the inner portion of the lid, tap over the last shade that we laid down and really get it on that inner corner as well. This is so stunning. I'm also going to take that shade and I'm going to use a MAC 219 and run it right along the lower lash line. Now, to highlight my brow arch, I'm going in with the highlighter that I'm wearing right now, which is from Marc Jacobs. It is the number 80 worth the weight Omega Glaze on a MAC 242 for the brow arch. And I'm also going to place a little bit of that on the inner corner. I don't want to add too much because I don't want it to be too blingy, but I just want to brighten it up just a little bit more. And then to finish off the look, I created a winged liner. I put Boss Milk Liner in the top inner rim. And then, of course, just mascara. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. These colors are phenomenal. If you have not checked out Sydney Grace, I'm telling you, you need to. These shadows will blow your mind. They are cost effective. I do have a discount code. It's PuffinsY15. It is not an affiliate code. It's just something to give you guys a little bit of money off. And I'm telling you, you will not be dis disappointed. If you have tried these, please let me know down below. Let me know what you think about Sydney Grace so that everybody else can know as well, because I know you guys are only going to have good things to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and if you haven't checked out my favorite bronzer video, that was right before this one. So just go make sure you check that one out as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.